Hey everyone, long time no talk, but we do not have time to catch up during this video because I don't have a ton of footage. But I did want to put together a quick, you know, talk through voiceover tutorial because you all seem to really love this look on Instagram. So I hope you enjoy it and be sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you aren't already. As usual, I'm already all primed with foundation and eye primer, but the first eyeshadow that I'm using is called Tesoro. It's from the palette Love Christina Volume 2 by Gourmand Girls Cosmetics, which is owned by my lovely friend Christina. I'm really just using this plum shade all in my outer V and bringing it through my crease and down below my lower lash line as well. I am bringing the shade past my outer V and kind of carrying it like outwards towards my hairline. And I really just want to get that nice, like, smoky shape to my eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with a gorgeous, like, deep yellow shade from the Melt Cosmetics Rust Palette. And I'm carrying it, like, all above and kind of outside of where I put the purple. And also, of course, bringing it around and underneath my eye as well. This next shade is called Foxy Rose, and I'm basically using it to blend, like, between the purple and the yellow. And of course, blending always requires a bit of back and forth, so I'm really just working it in, blending it out with the yellow, and doing my thing. Once I have my smoky eye nice and cohesive and blended out as far as I can, um, I'm going back in with the yellow and I'm going to be, you know, shading those clown line things. So I'm basically just doing one, you know, from the center of my eyebrow going upwards, and then one going downwards from the center of my eye, and then another one that's kind of like between the wing of my smoky eye and the center of my eye to kind of, you know, add balance there. Once I have those clown lines blended out with yellow, I'm going in with a liner brush and the purple eyeshadow and really just defining them. The next product that I'm using is one of the cosmetic paints from P. Louise that she launched last summer with Mitchell. It's called Ecstasy. So I applied this all over my lid and I'm also using it to define that smoky like outer V wing eyeshadow shape. And of course I'm bringing it slightly, you know, through my crease and around underneath my lower lash line. I did use a little bit of like navy colored eyeshadow. I used the shade Nebula from Gourmand Girl's Exquisite Palette just to kind of really smooth the transition between the dark gel and the blended eyeshadow. And then of course I'm using the cosmetic paint and a liner brush to define those pointy clown lines. So now I am attempting to contour my face and at this point I was very restless and kind of like overtired and I was not in a great mood when I was filming this so I was too lazy to get out like actual contour products and I decided to just use the eyeshadows that I already had in front of me from the Love Christina palette. So I'm using the dark purple eyeshadow and as you can see, um, like obviously it's a pigmented eyeshadow product so it's kind of hard to uh, blend into my face but I made it work and really just kept buffing in that shade and then I kind of went over it with a little bit of the tan eyeshadow also in that palette and I really just worked those in to my face and contoured around my cheeks and like underneath my lips and my chin a little bit. Once I'm done with my messy contour, I am going in with one of the most beautiful eyeshadows ever created. It's called Teal Me More from the Dose of Colors Block Party collection that they came out with, I think it was like a couple years ago. I'm just using my finger to apply this all over my lid. This formula is a really beautiful, like soft, foiled shimmer shade. I also use that eyeshadow to go over my clown spike things. I don't really know what to call those, but I did go over them with the blue eyeshadow. Alright, so I wanted to take like the sparkly blue iridescence to the next level. So now I'm going in with a crystal fusion liquid eyeshadow from Koki Cosmetics. And it's in the shade Galactic. And I have been looking for an excuse to use this liquid eyeshadow for like since I got it. And it's just, oh my god, it's so beautiful. 
So I'm using this to basically just go over like the center of where I put the blue eyeshadow and it's pretty much the same shade, it's just a little bit more sparkly because it is a liquid eyeshadow so it really just added that extra like pop of iridescence and it's just beautiful. Using Milani's Summer Glow Highlighter, I am adding a nice summer glow to my cheekbones. I'm just being careful to not like bring it over my lines. I'm just kind of applying it like, you know, in between the spaces where the eyeshadow is. For my nose, I am drawing a circle <laughs> and then I'm just filling it in using dark sided liquid lipstick from Sugar Pill. After the liquid lipstick dried, I'm just using my finger to pat on some of the Dose of Colors eyeshadow right in the center. At this point, I did realize I forgot to do any type of eyeliner, so I'm going into some gel liner now and adding in some wings, um, inner corner wings, and of course, you know, applying it along my tight line, my waterline, all that fun stuff. Moving on to my lips, I'm going to be using Sugar Pills Dark Sided Liquid Lipstick again, as well as Shiver Liquid Lipstick, which is also from Sugar Pill. So first I'm using the dark purple shade and I'm just bringing it all around the border of my lips. I'm also attempting to do those little like fake smile clown corner things. These things are, I don't know why I'm just not great at them and it usually takes me a couple tries to like get it to look right, but I'm pretty much just extending the lipstick from the corners of my mouth, kind of just like extending, you know, my top lip. And of course I'm going to mess up a couple times, so I am going back in with concealer here and there just to clean up the edge. Once I'm satisfied with that shape, I'm just going in with the blue liquid lipstick and filling in my lips. Finally, I'm going back in with the Galactic Liquid Eyeshadow from Koki and just patting this all along my lips to make them nice and iridescent so that they're cohesive with the rest of my face. To wrap up this look, I'm adding some pretty huge lashes in the style Fantasy from a small independent black owned brand called Unbothered Cosmetics and she's actually really affordable too so I definitely recommend um, checking her out. I will link the brand down below in the description. The whole like piratey vibes thing was actually inspired by this skull and crossbones necklace. I got it from an Etsy shop called Maggot Nest which I will link down below but for the other jewelry I believe I got that choker from Windsor and then I think the earrings are from like American Eagle or something So yeah, I'm really proud of how all the jewelry complements each other and just pulls the entire Look together. It just gives it like rustic grungy piratey vibes. I don't even know what to call this look like rustic grungy piratey clown, but also a little glam. I don't know I have no idea what I'm gonna like title this YouTube video, but by the time you're watching this, it's going to have a title. Um, I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, there will be more videos coming out. Don't worry. I'm sorry for going missing. We'll talk about it more soon. I love you all so much, and I will see you in my next tutorial.